Hi there, welcome to number one Geeky Design, Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid, Saz's mod tour. Uh, we are pretty much done with the exploration of uh, Daikir. Still love the name. And uh, we're going to have another quick look around the area. The first things first, though, we are going to go have a look at the vehicles over here. Because I want to see and compare the vehicle that we've got to the vehicle that we could have, which is this taxi just down here no next one here this taxi here so what we want to do is we want to get our vehicle just want to make sure that yeah, there's a group over there and there's someone over there as well might want to probably deal with him first sneaky 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 kind of pop Okay, so there's a little bit more than just the one, but hey, whatever. Right, let's get the car. Right, we'll worry about that a bit later. We will deal with the zombies up here first, and we'll take a check of this building. Let's do a quick look at the map, just to get you, uh, get you informed where we are. We started here. Uh, Riverside is there, uh, West Point is there, so start of Louisville. So we're the other side of the river, and uh, we've managed to uh, have a look around this area here, which is a little bit of fun, but uh, we're now all the way up here. So it looks like there's quite a bit more to, to search around this area. So this is where we are. This is where our Daikir is. And we've got this other building up here, which we may want to have a quick look at and see if it's anything interesting. But first of all, we have to get rid of uh, the local population. There's a fat lady there. Interesting that you can't do the clothes. So I'm not too sure if that's uh, Peach's job. And the zombie outfits. Just add a little bit of variety. Or whether it's something from the main game. So what is this? Looks like a, a furniture place. Where's the other guy? Come on. Oh, balls. There's actually a large amount of zombies there. Okay. Oh, hello. Alright, there's some decent stuff in here. Draw him in. Oh, a couple here, to be fair. Does that one see me? That one may have seen me. That's fine. It's fine, just keep drawing them. Any of these guys got anything interesting on them? Oh, she's moved now. I am going to actually draw her into here as well, just in case there are any more zombies upstairs. Hmm. 
Mm. Right now, I've got to be very, very careful. Very, very quiet. Okay, looks like no he's up here, but there might be a... Oh, a break room. Cool. I just want to stay up in these campies and eat them. And also take the opportunity to fill my cunt. I do apologise if I just burped whilst I talked there. Really wasn't my intention. There's no light switch in here. Oddly enough. Comfortable place to sleep, I guess. Out up at the entrance. Yeah, we've got a lot of zombies to deal with here, haven't we? Right, so that was the furniture stop. I think what we'll do now is we'll have a compare of these cars. Have a quick see what the comparative damage are on each. I'll probably look at the overall percentage, I think. It's probably the best idea. That's a 77 overall condition. That's a 57. So, this car's kind of better, but let me have a look at the boot space. That's 45. And that's 41. So, the boot space is better as well. Okay. So, that's kind of... sold it for me I think right I'll be very overweight right now but once we've got it all back out jobs are good isn't it actually let me just do that and get rid of all the bits and pieces in there now has oh, this car got fuel in it as well has got a little bit nice awesome sauce actually no not that because I need those, don't I? Looks like I had two gas cans. Oh. But I did pick up uh, some from another vehicle that was in the road, so that's always good. I mean, I know this car will still be here if I ever need it. Okay, so we can put those empty gas cans now. Back in the car. Then the fun bit. Maybe I'll have a look at that shotgun silencer. Right, getting tired again. I'll be white. Last bit. Ah, come on. Right. Unfortunately, back to Dyke here again. I think we might be safe enough to actually sleep on a bed. Let's just have a nap here. Was that the electricity that went off that noise? Yes, it was. All right, so that's us in perpetual darkness now. Fortunately for us, we're in the morning, so... This is a good uh, zombie trap, if I'm honest, because they never get through here. But they do line up quite nicely. They're being killed. So, I mean, one tactic would be is to draw them over this way and run around there as quickly as possible. Maybe come back round again, and hopefully most of them will be 
up against here, drawn towards the windows. So this area, I could probably say, not with too great a thing, would be quite a good place to uh, to base out, really. Especially with that uh, bit at the bottom there. In fact, let's just try something. Let's just see if I can prove my point. In this big area to run around, though, I have to admit. And I haven't actually been around the back of here either. So mistakes may have happened. No, no, it looks like a, like a back entrance for uh, goods and deliveries and stuff. Here's me trying to prove a point. So if I come around the back of here, hopefully, those two will be up against the windows. There you go. So uh, not only do I theorise it, I've actually proved it practically. Probably didn't need to have to run around there, to be honest. But now I can take them one at a time. So if you learned something there, please press the like button, please. I think that's a cool tactic. Press the like button. Just press that like button, please. Help me with the YouTube algorithm. It hurts me so badly. Right. Now we've got a little bit more space to manoeuvre. I'll do a little bit of a search. Let's actually just grab something to eat. For oh, sugar, my sneakers are dirty and work and worn so I need to find someone with some sneakers oh lovely colour that'll do that'll do better than me hurt myself that's for certain I just need some feet as well let's just eat some chips Quite a few large groups here. Which may need some action from myself. A little later. Do I have rosewood? I do now. Okay. I think what we'll do at this moment, rather than uh, go too deep into uh, fighting zombies, uh, we will probably leave it there for the moment and just say thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, if you could possibly press the like button and pop some comments down, that'd be really, really helpful. As I said before, the YouTube algorithm really does like engagement. So if you could engage with me, don't I'm already married, so don't, don't need to engage me. Um, get engaged to me. No, uh, no, what we want is just, just for you to press a like button and um, let's just pop some down in the comment section even if it's just to call me an idiot I don't mind it's engagement that's how you engage anywho also uh, please why not subscribe it's totally and utterly free uh, and uh, it also is something that you can change your mind with at any point that sounds like someone just died horribly 
and uh, also press the bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. Anyway, that's me. So thanks again for watching. I hope to see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.